Hey YouTube, today we're gonna try to replace the bulbs or the lamps on this ring uh, flood camera. If you notice, one of the bulbs is completely burnt out. The other one is going, but ever so often it flashes and it just keeps blinking all night long. The problem with these ring devices is they're meant to be an all-in-one unit, so they don't really sell replacement parts. So we're gonna try to hack it before uh, having to replace the whole thing. So let's get to it. I'm gonna climb up there and remove that off the wall. If you're gonna to attempt to do something like this, remember turn the power off at the breaker before you even attempt it. This thing has on the back of it a step-down transformer. And the problem, with, the problem with these is that you could either, you can't really replace the bulbs because this steps the power down to a 24 volt, um, I think it's 24 volt AC, AC 24 volt. And you can't really get a 24 volt bulb unless you buy like another uh, LED that's kind of like this. So what we're gonna do is take the step down transformer out, remove the LED bulbs and replace it with the sockets from something that's like a traditional holder and wire those directly in. This red here is a trigger that comes from the main sensor on the ring, this main part here and I just moved it. It comes, it comes from this. So we just need to make sure that that red powers up the uh, lamps when we replace it. The black and the white are what gets connected to the uh, house power. And this is your ground. And the red here is the trigger, right? And this red here is also the connection in between the two blacks. So I'm just gonna take these zip ties off just so I could get to this a little bit better. Because really we don't know if it's the bulbs or this, or this, uh, what you call this step down transforming unit. So I'm just gonna remove this. And really, once we take this out, we don't really need it anymore. When we connect this back up, we're gonna connect the two blacks together to the red trigger, and then the two whites together with the white that goes into the wall. I'm gonna snip these off. I'm gonna separate these so I could pull these through once I unscrew this. And we're gonna remove these. I think we can by just taking this out. All right, we're not gonna reuse these anymore because I don't know if these are good and I don't, I don't know if this is good. But at least what we know is this ring sensor with the camera and everything, this works fine. Let's open this up and see what we got. All right, so really what I need is just these two. and from the old ring parts I'm just going to reuse these little seals What we do know is that these lamps are gonna be pointing out this way, so we might just wanna just tighten it and leave it so where these lamps could point out. 
towards the side because we know this mounts like this or like this up against our wall and the lamps point out this way. Now we're ready to wire up this, this back piece here. So what we're gonna do is connect all three white wires together. That is the white from both lamps and the one white that we had from before. Now remember the little skinny one goes to the sensor or it goes to the main ring, uh, the camera and the light sensor and all that motion, motion sensor. The red here is the trigger, right? So the red comes out of this and is the trigger. So we're gonna connect both blacks from the light to this red, which is the trigger. All right, and that should be it. That's all the wiring connections we need to make. All I gotta do is tuck these back in here and then these two get hooked up right back where they were outside. Before I actually take this and mount it back up on the wall using these bulbs, and these are, are low energy LED bulbs. I think these are just 15 watt. Uh, I wanna actually plug this up, just wire it up and plug it into the wall and just make sure it actually works the way it's supposed to before I actually put it out on the, on the wall outside. These wires that come with the ring system, they, they're awfully thin. I just wanna make sure that this doesn't get too hot um, before I put it up on the wall. So I just have this short extension cable, I just, I just expose the ends and I'm just gonna wire it up and just use this just to test. I just wanna see this thing actually work the right way. If anything were to happen, let it happen on the bench here, where I could quickly pull the plug out, or the breaker trips on no fire. So let's see. All right, here we go. Lamps work. No, no issues. All right, let's just make sure everything works while it's just plugged up on the bench. I could turn the lights on, turn the lights off. It's gonna get a lot, I'm gonna turn the siren on, make sure it works. All right, not too loud. Turn the lights back off. All right, this thing seems to work fine. I wanna make sure the wires on the back are not getting warm. So let's turn it over, turn the lights on. We could just feel here, there's no exposed wires, so. I'll just leave it running for a second. I'm just worried because they're so, they're so thin. It just seems to be working fine. All right, let's take it apart and mount it back up on the wall. All right, here we go. Back mounted up on the wall. And let's try this out. Lights on. Lights off, it works fine. On the Ring app on live, you could, you're getting a good image. So everything seems to be back to normal. I hope this video was helpful. Again, this is just my way of doing things. If you don't feel comfortable, consult an electrician. I'm just a DIYer at home, just trying stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. God bless.